if anyone's gonna pop in this morning it's just quick wow the sun i need a curtain on that little window by the door mm. my coffee in a speedway travel mug Anybody going to join me? Before I head up, I'm going to be leaving for church here soon. Figured I'd pop in. I'm all dressed for church. Um. I know nobody expected me this morning, so. I think the dog wants in the house already. Just in case. <laughs> Dogs jumping up on the door. I think she wants... I don't think she likes the fact that there is snow on the ground. It snowed yesterday, you guys. I am so sad about that. It rained. And then while I was working the rain, I saw some snowflakes in in it. And then it became more snow than rain. And I was not a happy camper. play some music this music won't uh this music won't flag me it's usable for youtube videos lacy's place hello good morning i didn't know if anyone was gonna join me this morning or not I need a curtain on the front window. I got these little narrow windows on either side of my front door and nothing covers them. And in the morning, the sun streams through there when it's sunny. I'm happy it's sunny. It was uh, very uh, uh, cloudy and rainy and snowing yesterday. Yeah, that's right, Aquashella's this weekend. I wish I could have gone. I'll have to make plans to go to the one in Chicago in, in the summer. A 
Bet you they're having a lot of fun. I'm so jealous. I'll have to catch some of their videos and try and catch them when they do their live streams. I know that um, JH and uh, E Money went live while they were there. Oh, you redid your aquarium room? Cool. I just got a new fish the other day. I'll have to make a video of him to introduce him or her. I think it's a female. But I don't have a name for her yet. So I'll have to make a video and ask for names. She's just a baby, so she's very small in her in her tank. <laughs> She'll grow, but she's very small right now, so she looks like she's like swimming in an ocean all by herself. Nope, it's not a beta. <laughs> nope, nope. And I actually got her at Walmart. I don't make a habit of buying Walmart fish, although it's funny because my husband, for when he gets his African cichlids, the ones he gets from Walmart seem to last longer than the ones he gets from the pet store. So I was like, well, that's interesting. But we were there by, we were at Walmart buying a grill. Um, he was all excited to buy this new grill so that we could start grilling out. And then it snowed yesterday. Um, and we walked past the fish. He was, look, he went to look at the African cichlids. And of course, I caught sight of this little one, and I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, I gotta have her. So she came home. <laughs> She's super cute. How's your uh, in ground pond coming? <laughs> no, I didn't get a cichlid. Nope. I was, while he was looking at the cichlids, I was browsing all of the tanks in there. And I was like, oh my gosh. I was like, come look at this. I was like, I want it. I want it. <laughs> and right now she's only like that big, approximately. And she's in my 20 gallon high. So she looks so dwarfed. Cool. Is it finished? I'll have to catch up on videos. I've been, I'm so behind on people's videos. We got snow last night. I'm not happy about it. I was working, it was raining. And then every now and then I saw like a snowflake come down. Um, in the midst of the rain i'm like oh that sucks and then it turned more into snow and there is actually snow on the ground i'm like seriously and we just bought a new grill it's mocking us angela critters good morning awesome it sounds closer to finished with if it's got fish in it and plants. Yeah. I look forward to seeing it. It looks like a lot of work. <laughs> I was talking to my husband about maybe doing above ground tubs. Not digging into the ground, but just doing some in ground or some above ground tubs for outside or whatever, but I don't know. Oh, you're grilling ribs and roast? I'm jealous. I've never grilled a roast. Unless you're grilling the, uh, well, you said and a roast. Did you get a lot of help from your kids, though? I know that they were helping you dig when you first started it. How are you this morning, Angela?
I got to keep an eye on the time. I missed church last week. I don't want to miss it this week. That was all they helped you? The rest of it was... <laughs> so they made it look good. They made it look like they were going to help you all the way through. And then they didn't help you again. That's funny. I know, isn't it depressing, the snow? At least it's sunny out right now. But I'm having a hard time seeing. I need to put little tiny curtains over these little skinny windows by the front door. My coffee and my travel mug so I can bring it to church with me. I missed church last week because I really didn't want to be around anybody that I knew after I had jury duty. Hey, JJ. This is this was a totally unplanned live, but I was like, you know what? I have a little bit of time. I'm already ready. I got ready for church and uh, I woke up Ian. I was like, start getting ready for church. And I was like, while we're waiting to leave or while I'm waiting for him and while we're waiting to leave, I was like, I've got some time to kill. Because I don't have to be there till 10. Man. So, JJ, there's snow on the ground here. It snowed. I'm not happy about it. This is leaking on me or something. You slept with the windows open? I would love to sleep with the windows open, actually. Why is my travel mug leaking on me? Yeah, it was raining. And then the rain kind of turned into snow. And I'm not happy. But this, this sun is driving me bonkers. I'm trying to get away from it. Ralph's trucking in more. Good morning. JJ, the link is at the top of the uh, chat if you want it. I probably have to leave here around quarter to 10 at the latest to get to church by 10. <laughs> oh, you guys are turning on your AC and I'm like, damn snow. Angel, good morning. Haven't seen you in forever. Yeah, I love listening to the sounds outside. I love when the crickets, I can hear the crickets outside. It's not as nice when they turn into cicadas. But <laughs> when it's just cicadas you hear at night, not the crickets. 75 degrees sounds perfect. 70, 75 degrees is my happy place. Not too hot, not too cold, just perfect. We need a new front, like a screen door. We need a new storm door. For our front door ours is a security door and it doesn't have a screen so we can't and the windows the bottom window came out and we have to put it back in but we can't we can't get any airflow through that door when the windows are in we can get airflow when the window is out but we don't have a screen on it so i would really like to get a new storm door so we can actually get airflow through the front there because we've got this huge ass windows like this one here and there's one in the front and they don't open. They don't open. I was like, who designed that? Like, so we don't get to get really any airflow in this front room. Yes, I love fall. I love the crisp fall smells not as crazy about the spring smells because the spring smells bring me allergies but 
Yeah, it would be cheaper to get us. And I do like the security of the security door. Like, we can lock that. I usually lock that when my husband's out of town. So, if anyone wants to break in, they got to go through that first. So, yeah, if we can put some sort of a screen on it, that would be wonderful. Hi, Shadow. I heard Ian open the door and let you out. Is he ready? <laughs> Is he getting ready? So what's everybody else going to be up to today? Yeah, the dog still wants in. She's like, snow, there's snow. Let me in. <laughs> Just a minute, guys. I'll let her in. Let you in, Brinley. Hi. What do you think of the snow? It sucks, doesn't it? Come here. Come here. Let me untie you. Come here. Come here. All right. Ooh, you're going to swap some fish from tank to tank. Yeah, I'll have to post up a video of my new fish so you guys can see them. Ooh, laundry. We're going to be doing that a little bit later today. Well, my husband's going to be doing some laundry because he goes out of town tomorrow for two weeks. Two weeks. So he's got a bunch of laundry to do for himself. He does his own laundry. I won't complain. I'll, I'd do it. I told him I would do it, but he does his own. D90, good morning. So I pretty much only have to wash my laundry. Nice. How many Oscars have you got, Lacey? I can't remember. We've only got the one. Five Oscars, wow. Yeah, we've just got the one and we had we have a Jack Dempsey in the tank with him and then we had a Red Devil in the tank with him, but a few days ago, Wednesday, Wednesday the the Red Devil passed away. So and he was a good size. I uh the the net was bending when I was trying to get him out. He had some weight to him. And he had to go out to the trash because he was too big to flush. He was a pretty fish, but he was a bully. You know, like he picked on our Jack Dempsey something awful. A video on what? New England Endler, good morning. Ooh, I could use some donuts and some bacon. <laughs> you know, we bought like an 18 count of eggs the other day. And as always, you check your eggs and they'll ask you, have you checked your eggs? And we'll open, we open it up, we look, yeah, they're good. Every stinking one of them was broken underneath on the bottom every one that got lifted out was busted on the bottom every single one oh my husband was so pissed off <laughs> i was like well you need to bring that we need to bring that back and get that he was like i don't even care and he threw the whole thing in the trash i'm like we could have got money back and got a whole nother or not a money back but got another carton but he was so pissed off he just tossed it all in the trash every single egg like man oh yeah we've got my husband takes care of the cichlids they're his tanks to take care of because they started out as his hobby so we have a 55 gallon with african cichlids and we have a 75 gallon with american cichlids 
and then I've got seven beta fish and my new fish. And with, then we have the two dogs, two cats, two rabbits, two guinea pigs. So, or still four guinea pigs because only one of the guinea pigs found another home. So I still have the other two males, but yep. And finally, because usually our African cichlids don't get very big before they end up dying, because we need to get a few more in there. We need to overstock it a little bit so that they're too distracted to zero in on someone to pick on, because we end up always losing one. One at a time, we end up losing over time, because they, they zero in on somebody and they pick on them um, until they die. So they don't get very big. And he's like, I really want to see them starting to get bigger. But we do have one. We just call him the giraffe cichlid. He looks, he's got giraffe markings. But he's finally getting big enough to the point where he's starting to change color. And that's the first time that's ever happened. So we're pretty excited that he's starting to change color. I, th I was like, I was looking at him yesterday and I was like, is that the biggest any of our cichlids have gotten in that tank? And he's like, I think so, because they always die before that. Yes, it's an animal kingdom. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Like, you see, when we go to an aquarium, we see them so overstocked and they seem to be doing well, but ours just. You know, I was like, we probably need to put about 10 more in there. But because otherwise they just be like, they see one and go, oh, I just feel like picking on him today. And everybody chases him. Yeah. Well, we, we don't even really have any plants in there. My husband hasn't put any plants in there. He's just got some castles and stuff, but he has rearranged them from time to time. Yeah. Someone behind me wants a cookie. Hi, how are you? How are you? I don't think she's very thrilled about the fact that there's snow on the ground this morning. I think right now there's maybe 10 in there. I think right now there's about 10 in there. And I think we need to probably put about 10 more. <laughs> there's one, though, that surprisingly, he's still alive. He's blind. And nobody picks on him i mean he hides a lot but when he's out nobody picks on him i would have thought because he's blind he's got a weakness that he'd be the first one to get picked on but they leave him alone what you doing huh what are you doing? Get off the table. Off the table. Manners. Oh, she had to go chase the cat. Yeah, and there, ours are in the uh, 55 gallon, our Africans. So I don't know. We haven't found the happy medium yet. We haven't found the spot where they'll be happy with each other. <laughs> We've got some really pretty ones in there, too. Like, I know there's uh, one in there that my husband is dying to see grow and change color. But he's worried that he's going to end up being picked off before it can happen. James Clark, good morning. But I'll have to take a pic uh, picture, a video of our giraffe cichlid so that you can see um, when they get older, they start turning blue, like a blue head and things like that, which looks nothing like giraffish. But um, he's starting to turn blue. So uh, it's he's really pretty. His fins and his head are all turning blue. He's got this really iridescent blue look when he swims. It's really cute. Or cute. He's cute. He's a very pretty fish. Oh, I dripped on my shirt. 
<sighs> it's one of those mornings. Brinley, leave the bunnies alone, please. Hey, Brin Brin. Brin Brin, leave bunnies alone. And then, of course, in our American cichlid tank, it seems like we get a fish, and it's usually the newest fish because our red devil was the newest fish in that tank. Our Jack Dempsey is the oldest fish in that tank. He's been in it since day one. And no matter how many illnesses go through that tank, our Jack Dempsey will not die. He, he's been sick, but he will not die. He gets better. Um, but our, our red devil, you could tell there was not, he was not, there, he was not healthy, but no one else got sick. I don't know. Ooh, we've got a bumblebee one in there. We've got a bumblebee. We've got a Kenny. Um, I don't know what all of their scientific names are. I don't keep up on those. Aw, wild baby bunnies. We've, we usually have wild bunnies hanging out in our yard. And then a couple of summers ago, there was a little baby. It was so small, little baby bunny, like tiny sitting in the backyard and i was like oh he's so cute and i was walking in the backyard and i ended up spooking him and he ran out into the street and just this tiny little thing and i was like oh my gosh i gotta go get him before he gets hit by a car didn't have to worry about a car no sooner had that little baby bunny go in the middle of the street a hawk came out of the tree and swooped down and grabbed him and took off and i just wanted to cry i was like i killed the bunny I spooked him into the street. The hawk, the hawk had probably been hunting him this whole time. But I felt horrible when I watched that hawk take off with that baby bunny. Oh, it was horrible. My husband's like, it's okay. It's the circle of life. And I was like, I know. But I don't want to see the circle of life happen in front of my eyes. I don't. <laughs> I want to be blissfully unaware poor little baby bunny. I felt so horrible. I know it's the circle of life. I know it happens, but I don't want to know about it. I don't want to witness it. Yeah, we do actually New England Endler, we do have a peacock in there too. And he that's one that my husband is dying to see grow and change color. But he's afraid that he's gonna end up dying before that happens. Have a great day, James. Thanks for popping in. haven't seen Ian come down the stairs yet. He's going to act so tired. He'll sit in church like this. He'll just, just like this, he'll just sit there with his eyes closed and just be like that and act so tired like he can't function. Then we'll come home and he'll play video games. I swear. This keeps dripping on me. What the heck? You know, we've had a couple of other peacocks in that tank when we first started it but they didn't survive. It was so sad because they were very pretty. I saw, and they were at Walmart and I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't get them because I said I didn't get any cichlids, but there were convicts. Um, they were, they were uh, parrot convicts. They were so, so they had the coloring of a convict, uh, convict cichlid, but they had the body of a parrot fish 
oh my gosh, they were so cute. They were like these little stubby convicts. They were so, they were so adorable. Yeah, it might be a hole in my lip. I don't know. <laughs> There's only this tiny little hole in here. I don't know how I'm missing it. Brindley, how are you? Oh, how's my Brindley? Oh. Kind of nice to have music in a stream. Ian, are you going to be ready soon? Need to check up on him because when we when I am ready to go, I don't want him to say he's not ready yet. He didn't answer me either. Hey, Ian, are you almost ready? The dog's answering me. <laughs> Go check to see if Ian's ready. What are you eating? Are you eating something? Stop eating junk. All right, New England Endler, have a great day. Ian's not, I know he's awake. I woke him up unless he uh, laid back down, but he did open the door just a little bit ago to let the cat out. Why did it stop? Brindley, where's he in? Go wake him up. Go get him. He's not answering me. Oh, Bella. Brindley, can you not twerk on me, please? And... I might have to go literally up there and make sure that he's functioning. <laughs> yeah, about Brindley, go and wake him up. Tell him to hurry. Oh, man. I hope that snow melts. What's the temperature supposed to be like? Temperature. Ooh, it's only 26 degrees. I'm not happy. 26 degrees? What's it supposed to get like? It's not going to get any warmer than 35 degrees today. <sighs> 46 tomorrow, 56 Tuesday. At least it'll, it will melt. It's just probably not going to do much of that today. Well, that sucks. Yeah, it started as rain yesterday. It rained all day. And then, of course, in the evening, it started turning into snow. Give me a second. I'm going to go make sure that he's functioning. 
He's awake. He's awake. Barely. He's dressed. He's sitting in his chair and he's like. <laughs> There he is. It's chilly out today, too. It's like 26 degrees and there's snow on the ground, Ian. It's rude. Friendly, get down. I just come around here and say hi. Uh, uh. The typical teenage response. Uh. Hey, everybody else is wide awake. Look, Brinley, he doesn't even want to play with you. He's like, get away. <laughs> oh, JJ said, what's up, Ian? Huh? What's up? I don't think you heard that. What's up? <laughs> Yeah, actually, that's a good idea to put her in the kennel. She'll need to be in there when we go. All right. Come around. Come sit over here. I don't have cooties. He's scowl <laughs> scowling at me. Oh, Bella wants to play with you now. Bella wants to play. Bella scared the crap out of me yesterday because her and Brindley were playing. And then all of a sudden, Bella's crying and whimpering and holding up her foot. And I didn't have, have any idea what she did. She was shaking. And every time I tried to touch her foot, she'd pull it away and cry. And I don't know. And then... We put Brinley in the kennel so that we could take a closer look at her. And then my husband put her down on the floor and she's like, okay, I'm good. I'm like, was that just to get Brinley away? <laughs> I don't know. Because she's not acting like anything's bothering her now. Ian, come over here. Come over here. Come over here. Ian. Hey. Yeah. She wanted something, that's for sure. Didn't you? You scared me. Ian. Ian, Ian, Ian. <sighs> you didn't go over here. You know you can hear me. <laughs> See, you smiled when I said that, so I know you hear me. I already told them the way you'd be acting. You'd go to church and act and like hardly be able to stay awake. Then you come home and play video games. <laughs> he says he comes home and sleeps, but 
But come over here anyway. I told you not to stay up too late. I warned you. Hi, Shadow. Hi. Hello. You don't say. Huh? Can you not walk on the laptop? That would be really good. You're popping up windows. Oh, man. Everybody else must still be sleeping, too. A few people come in, but not anybody really from our little group. I wish you could see him right now. He's like sitting on the arm of the chair, like all buried in it, right next to the new fishy. <laughs> yep, bunch of sleepy heads. Although if I wasn't, well, I'd probably be up, be up by now, but I wouldn't have gotten up when I did if I wasn't going to church. And I swear I heard Michael say, see y'all at 9 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. <laughs> I swear I heard him say that during the live stream. So where is he? <laughs> Just kidding. Oh, man. I, th I thought for sure that's what I heard him say when everyone was getting ready to leave last night. But something tells me that he's not, he's probably not awake either. Madfish Diva, good morning. How are you? Oh my goodness. Excuse me. I might have my coffee finished before I go to church. Normally I bring it with me. I'm doing good, Mad Fish Diva. See, this is leaking on me, I swear. It didn't come from my mouth. It's a little bit of a snowy morning, which is depressing, but it's nice out. Otherwise, I'm not impressed with the snow at all. I feel like something bit me or something. It's itchy. It's a nice, quiet, peaceful Sunday, though, morning so far. And those are always good. Hey, Ian. Why don't you try and keep yourself awake by giving some hay to the guinea pigs? It's like... <sighs> <laughs> I 
Hopefully I can walk decently. I slept on this side of me all night. And then I woke up in the morning and my hip was killing me. I don't know why. Yeah, who and it's only supposed to get to be like a high of 35 today and I but it's going to be more like 50 in a couple of days. Did you already give them hay? Wow, that was fast. How about the bunnies? I'll do the bunnies. Well, I should probably wrap it up because like I just said, I got to give the bunnies some hay and then we got to have to get off to church. So, can you not claim my laptop as yours by rubbing on it? <laughs> Did you step on a piece of tape and it got stuck to your foot? Huh? Don't eat it. You step on it. She stepped on this little piece of tape, the cat, and uh, got all confused because it got stuck to her foot. She's like, what? 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 What is this? <laughs> but yeah, gonna have to wrap it up so I can get myself to church. I missed last week, so figured it's best I don't miss another one. But, mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know who's all. I think Turtle Creativity is going live at 2. I don't know about any other ones particularly. I know Down the Wormhole, of course, I've got, I just got her sticker a few days ago. Down the Wormhole will be live at 12. Um, then JH Aquatics at one. So, yeah. I will talk with you later. Have a great day. Bye-bye.